My name is Darius Campbell and welcome to another episode of West Indian History. Today we're going to be paying tribute to National Ice Cream Month by creating one of my favorite ice cream flavors, salsa. So this ice cream is going to be made using a French base, which is called a creme anglaise. And you're going to need milk, heavy cream, egg yolks, sugar, and of course, a medium size salsa. So our first step is to cut our salsa, take the inside out with a spoon. If you're using fresh salsa, like I am, um, it's going to be very difficult for you to not get your hands a bit dirty. So we're just going to be removing the seeds, so as many as we possibly can. And as I remove it, I'm going to put it into my pot. Typically, when you're making ice cream, flavoring is added to the cold creme glaze. However, we are going to be heating our sour sup with the cream and milk to achieve the best flavor. So in your saucepan, you're going to be adding your cream and milk. We're going to place it over a low fire and allow it to heat. So while our cream is heating, I'm going to mix our egg yolks and sugar. So we're going to add our egg yolks and our sugar to a medium-sized bowl and whisk it. Then we're going to whisk it on just until it becomes somewhat fluid and it becomes peeled. So what we're going to do now is we're going to slowly add our heated cream mixture or milk mixture to our eggs. I'm going to slowly add it to your eggs, prevents your eggs from scrambling. This process is called tempering. So it's going to slowly incorporate it and ensure that you're whisking vigorously to bring the temperature of your egg mixture to the temperature of the cream. So it's going to be a few lumps of the of the um, sour sauce, but that's fine. Again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to ensure that we get all of the flavors out of the sour sauce. So while we heat our creme glaze or cook our creme glaze, we're going to leave the sour sauce pulp in there and then we strain it afterwards. So I believe that my temperature is up and I can add the rest of my cream to my bowl, slowly that is. All right, so we're gonna place our bowl over our broiler. We're gonna double broil it. So place it over a hot pot of water and allow the creme glaze to thicken. So our aim here now is to basically, if you do have a thermometer at home, you're gonna heat your cream to around 100, well this mixture, to around 160 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit or until it coats the back of a spoon and you pass the pass your finger through it and it doesn't come back together. As right, so I'm going to be using a thermometer and what I'm trying to just make sure is over the threshold and I'm at 180 degrees 81 which is good. I'm going to remove it from the heat straight it. So now that our mixture is thickened, we're going to strain it and squeeze out any excess juice from our sauce. So at this point, if you see that your mixture has curdled, that's perfectly fine. What you can do to save it is you can either use an immersion blender or a blender and after straining, just give it a quick press or a quick mixture and um, allow the mixture to kind of like re emulsify. So I'm going to give my mixture a quick mix. Make sure that it's nice and smooth. And if you are using an emulsion blender, try not to lift it to the surface and more like mix it water. So that way you have less fat. that is done we're going to place our mixture in an ice bath and cool it down. We're going to place our bowl into our ice bath 
and cool it down till it's very cool. Cool, I should say. So this should take about 15 to 20 minutes for the mixture to completely cool or however long it takes for you to get it down to cool a cool temperature. So once our mixture has completely cooled, now one of the things that you can do if you want is you could bring your mixture down to a suitable temperature and chill it overnight. However, I believe that my, my mixture here is pretty fine, it's cold. I've been mixing it for a while. And what you're gonna do next is you're gonna freeze the base, your ice cream base, according to your manufacturer's instructions on your ice cream maker. Now I have an electric ice cream maker, so I'll do that. Today I won't be chilling, I won't be getting a workout, I won't be sweating. This, this is gonna be doing all of the heavy lifting for you. Now this may take about 30 to 45 minutes. Depends on the environment. So the environment may also influence how long it takes for your ice cream base to Chill. All right, so our ice cream is just about done. And what you want to look for is a, just about a soft serve consistency. But the thing that you want to note is that the ice cream's optimum consistency does not occur in the machine, but in fact occurs in the freezer. So soft serve is fine. So we're going to stop our machine, put it into our containers. I have these 500 ml containers. And you want to chill this until it's, or freeze it until it's completely solid. So you want to pop it into the freezer. So this ice cream is best frozen overnight. So I had some that I made previously that I'm going to pull out to show you the consistency. And this is a great summer snack, as you would see. So I have some, my ice cream scoop, and a bit of hot water. Alright, so your ice cream is always best enjoyed with a cone. So I'm gonna top it off with your cone, and there you have it. Our homemade sour sap ice cream that is not just great to make but also to enjoy. So my name is Chef Darius Campbell and thank you for watching West Indian Nish. Um, <laughs> I really I get out of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? <laughs> 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 <laughs>